All right, congratulations on making it to the end of the course. I hope you enjoyed learning about how the Python language uses object-oriented programming techniques, and maybe you've picked up some ideas about how to apply these principles in your own Python programs. Now, as I said at the beginning of the course, it's not required to use object-oriented programming with Python, but I think that once you get started with it and you've experienced the benefits, you'll be reluctant to go back to writing code the old, non-object-based way. There are plenty of other Python-focused courses to explore while you're here, so I suggest checking a few of them out. I hope to see you again soon in another one of my courses. Until then, happy coding!